Tonight, I was uh, reading Daf Yomi, and then I was uh, preparing the shiur. But this, this week's the Daf Yomi has a lot of musar inside, a lot of information. So I say, let's tonight join, make a joint venture. Those of you who came, we'll save you the, we'll, uh, we'll take a part of the Daf Yomi. And we'll go from this when I want to take you. Basically, what we are talking in Dafa in Dafa Yomi in the last few days is about the concept of Mashiach. And uh, and the beauty of these pages that we learn that we hear so many things and so many views and so many limudim uh, that uh, they are, that we are learning about it that it makes the, uh, we're going then to learn the Rambam, how the Rambam explains it. So let's start. And the, uh, the, page, the, the page 99 in Masechet uh, Sanhedrin start with, uh, a, ver- uh, with uh, a word, the Bar Torah of Rabbi Shimlai. And he says, that Amos, the prophet, he asks why people, many people ask the Mashiach to come. So you say, why not? It's good. Oya mit avim et yom Hashem, lama ze lachem yom Hashem uchoshech velo'or. And he explains that, that there was a rooster and there was a bat. Atalef in Hebrew. And both of them were sitting and waiting for the sunrise. So the roosters say, I understand, I'm waiting for the light to, uh, to start working. But you, you work at night. Daytime, you're off. So why are you waiting for the, for the sun? And what is the nimshal? The nimshal is if somebody, God forbid, is not ready for the Mashiach to come. He doesn't practice nothing. He just wants the Mashiach to come. But the Mashiach will come, he's going to suffer. Nachon? Why is he going to suffer? Because what did you prepare? First of all, just for the short introduction, we have our world now. Then it's going to be a period that's called Mashiach time. Then it's going to be a period that's called Olam Abba. So uh, now we're talking about this in-between period that's called the Mashiach time. And the Gemara over here asks a question. How long this transaction area, this, this the transaction time, how long is going to be? Do you know the answer? Huh? No. The Mashiach came. The Mashiach is a transaction time for the Olam Abba. What? Let's, uh, let's take the, There is a Baraita over here, and the Baraita bring all kinds of opinions, and we'll learn it. Rabbi Eliezer says, He about the Mashiach 40 years. As it says, the Sefer Tehilim, 40 Shana Akut Bador. It means, we're talking about, it's very interesting, there is a Bukharian custom that's called Shila. And, and I think over here, it's, it's more a Muslim custom, nothing to do with Judaism. But the, the number 40 is significant over here. If you see many things in our Torah that comes to a change, to talk about change, talks about 40. The Zohar Kadosh brings that, how many days was the rain in the time of the flood? 40 days. How many years we had to go in the desert to become ready to go to Israel? 40 years. How many days Moshe Rabbeinu had to go to learn Torah? 40 days. 
So the number 40 in the Torah is all the time shows a transaction time that afterwards something else happened. So when Mashiach comes, and uh, the Mashiach is again, the Mashiach is a, a, a temporary, the transaction time area, era to the next world. So in between the Mashiach time, Rabbi Eliezer says, is 40 years. Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah says, no, the Mashiach time is going to last for 70 years. Why? Shenemar is he brings a pasuk that says, "Vayah bayom v'nishkach atzor shivim shana kimi melech achir." Melech echad. What is the miyuchad? Are they the Mashiach? So Rabbi Eliyazar ben Azariah brings a pasuk, and he learn from this that the transaction will be seventy years, an average life of a human being. So the first opinion say forty years. The second opinion say seventy years. Rebbe, Rebbe Yudah Nasi, he learned from a pasuk in Sefer Tehilim, and he says, three generations. If generation is about 20 years, 25 years, talking about something between 60 years, three generations. How does he learn it? It says, Yerauch Haim Shamesh, Velifnei Yareach Dor Dorim. He learned from pasuk Tehilim, that talks about the Mashiach time. And he says, Dor, Dorim, Dor is one, Dorim is time, one plus two is three. And he says, the Mashiach time will last for three generations. How much is the generation? Approximately 20 years. Around 60 years, yes. <coughs> now we come to a very extreme different uh, opinion. Rabbi Hillel. You know, there was a big Hillel at Hillel Azaken, but there was Rabbi Hillel too. And he was uh, a grandson of Rabbi Udan Asi. We talked about uh, some, some, about 250 years after Hillel Azaken. And Rabbi Hillel says, Are you sitting down? He says, En lai Mashiach li Israel. He says, Mashiach came a few times. One of them was Chizkiah, and we were not ready. From this day on, Hashem himself is going to redeem us. There won't be no transaction time. You go to extreme now. Rav Yosef told him, oh, you went too far already. You are, uh, you are cutting it too, too quickly. Chizkiah, that you talk about him, he lived in the first temple. And Zechariah lived in the second temple, and he says, Gili bat Sion, because the Mashiach is going to come, he's going to be a poor man riding on a donkey. So they're talking about Mashiach, concept of Mashiach, few hundred years after Chizkiah. So how can you say there is no Mashiach? So they tell to Hillel, you were wrong. So we see in the first Baraita over here, we see three, three opinions, 40 years, 70 years and three generations. The Gemara continues. Rabbi Eliezer, Tanya Yidach, Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Rabbi Eliezer Agadol, Yemot Mashiach, 40 Shana. Rabbi Dosa, which was another big rabbi, he say 400 years. How does he come to 400 years? He says, "Va'avadum vi'inu utam arba mot shana." Avraham was promised that Am Yisrael is going to be in slavery for 400 years, and he says, "Samchenu kimot initanu." The the same way that we were tortured, we are going to be happy. So we take the 400 years from here. We take it from here. So according to him, the time of Mashiach is going to last Mashiach time for 400 years. Rabbi Yudah Nasi says, 365 years exactly. She neemar, ki yom nakam belibi vishnat geulai ba. He say for every day in the year, it's going to be one year of suffer. 365 days a year, 360 years of the Mashiach time. Achshav, 
Tane avimi bereder avi avau, he say no. The time of the Mashiach is going to last 7,000 years. We're going now to... Very. Shenimaru musos chatan al kala. Es chatan ve kala have seven yemei mishta, seven yemei mishte. And every day in HaKadosh Baruch Hu is 1,000 years. So 7,000 years. Very small, very simple mathematics. Rabbi Nachman Bar Yitzchak Amar, no, it's going to be like the difference between the main Noach, the time of the Mabul, until now. Which we don't know exactly how much is... Uh... So what do we see from here? It's a very big diversity of... Uh... It starts from none to 7,000. And in between, there are all kinds of numbers. And each of them has pasuk. So the Gemara says, over oh, continue and says a sentence, and we are going to stand over there. It says, Amar Rabbi Chia Baraba, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Kol Anevim, Kula Lo Nit Abu Ela Limot HaMashiach, Aval Leolam Aba, El Ayn Lo Rata, Elohim Zulatecha. Ve'az Am Repliqa De Shmuel, שאמר, אין בין העולם הזה לימות המשיח, אלא שיבוד מלכויות בלבד. This is basically the beginning of the page that we are going to, that we did today in Daf Ayomi. <coughs> the Rambam, he wrote in Ilchot, in Ilchot Melachim, he tried to explain us about this time, talking about Mashiach, Mashiach, what is this time of the Mashiach, and how it applies to us. And he says the following, in the 11th chapter. Chapter 11 is a... HaMelech HaMashiach Atid Lahamot Velachzir Malchut BeDavid Liyoshna LaMemshala HaRishona The king of the Mashiach, what is going to do? He's going to bring back the Israel kingdom. And he's going to build the temple and he's going to bring all the Jews from all over the world and bring all the laws of the Torah, and they're going to sacrifice korbanot, and they're going to make shvita and yovel, all the mitzvot of the Torah. And if somebody doesn't believe that Mashiach will come and doesn't wait for him, he's called kofer. It means that we have to accept the idea that that Mashiach is a part of the Jewish religion. And he says that Moshe Rabbeinu says, Ereinu velo ata, Ashurenu velo karov, Zeh HaMelech HaMashiach. Omer HaRambam, they, they were two Mashiachim. One was David HaMelech, that he, this, 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 he started. And the second one is going to be the Mashiach who is going to come and to reunite all the Jews together. Yod Ashbuchayah. Omer HaRambam B'Seif Gimel. Ve'al ya'aleh al da'atcha, don't think that the Mashiach should be a magician and show all kind of miracles and muftim. No. O mechaya ha'metim. Because Rabbi Akiva, in his time, 2,000 years ago, he believed that Bar Kochva, Bar Koziva, could be the Mashiach. And he was promoting him all over. You have to believe him, you have to trust him. And after Beit HaMishash was destroyed, Bar Kochva, he made the whole, the rebel, he was, uh, he was rebelling against the Romans. And who was promoting him? Rabbi Akiva, which is a big chacham, who said to him, he was the Melech HaMashiach. And he said, 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 and he After he died, Bar Kochva, they knew that he was not the Mashiach. He was a good leader, very charismatic, but he was not the Mashiach that the Torah is talking about. And now he says, Vim Yamod Melech Mibay David. He's going to be a king from the, the, the David family. That he learns Torah and doing mitzvot, Ke David Amelech. And he's going to lead all of Israel to go in the right way. And he's going to fight the wars of Hashem. Areze becheska, a potential that he is the Mashiach. If he did it and he built Beit HaMikdash, he is Mashiach. 
ויתקן את העולם ויבנות נו. So we should not wait somebody that he died going to become again to... Uh, so if he is alive and he did it, if he died, we don't have to wait a few days or that we can look for another candidate. And then the Rambam says, what the Gemara say today, Al yale al alev. Don't imagine that in time of the Mashiach, the world is going to be in a different way. Or sheyeh chidush ma'aseh bereshit. It's going to be a different, different world, different thing. No. El ha'olam ki minagon noeg. You wake up in the morning, you have to park your car in the other side, Monday, Wednesday. <laughs> you have to put meter, a token in the meter, or at least buy this ticket. Olam ki minagon noeg. And what it's written, the Navi says that the wolf is going to live with the sheep and the tiger is going to play with the lamb. It's just a matter of metaphoric explanation of a peaceful world. But not necessarily this understanding. In Yana Davar, the only thing that Israel Yoshvim Lavetach, Am Israel feel they are safe and sound and nobody wants to persecute them. Nobody is chasing after them. And we uh, are going to see a big wave in all the world. People, everybody talks about Hashem. And they're not going to steal from each other, not going to kill each other, and they're going to eat whatever is needed. And all the other words are all kind of meshalim, metaphoric expression. And in a time of the Mashiach, we will understand what, it is, what does it mean. So the Rambam tells us a very important thing. We can just speculate. But how is it going to happen? We have just to wait and see. Will also reward and punishment same thing? Huh? Well, punishment and reward is same thing. Now, uh, as I told you, this will be the Mashiach time. Afterwards, it's going to be the ultimate step, which is going to be the Olam Abba. Now we're talking about now, about the transaction time between our world and the next world. Amruch HaChamim, as I told you today, En ben ha'olam hazeh limot ha'mashiach ele shabud malachayot bilvad. What does it mean? It means that at the beginning of the Mashiach time is going to be a huge war by the name Gog and Magog. It should be in some, a huge war like uh, between empires. Before the Gog and Magog, there will be a prophet from Israel and he's going to prepare them. As it says, Ine Anochi Sholeach Lachem et Elia Navi. And when this Navi will come, is not time to say who is Taor, who is not Taor. We like to do it now, but you will not do it. We don't live Sola Nashim. He won't nullify nobody. Whoever is Kasher is Kasher. Ela Lasum Shalom Baolam. So basically, Omer Rambam, the, the, the idea is Eliyahu first will come. And Eliyahu will say, Mashiach is about to come. And then will be a big war. Then will be time of the Mashiach. Then will be the ultimate war, war that we are talking about. And the Rambam says like this, V'chol elu advarim, whatever I told you now, v'chayotze bahem, lo yeda adam ech iyu at sheihiyu. He said, I learned, the, I learned all the Gemarot, and I understood that you don't understand. You're going to understand everything when it happens. You're going to learn over here, you're going to see this opinion, this opinion, but how it happened, how it will happen, Nobody knows. Halakha says the Rambam. Shedvarim stubim meyotzer ha-nevi'im. 
The prophet says something, but וגם החכמים אין להם קבלה בדברים האלו. We learn פסוקים, we learn this, 70 years, 40 years, 60 years, but we don't have any קבלה that we know exactly. לפיכך יש מחלוקת בדברים האלו. ועל כל פנים אין סידור הוויה דברים אלו, ולא דקדקו עיקר הוודת. And now more than, now this is what I want to come to for you. Listen, ולעולם לא יתעסק האדם בדברי אגדות. Don't try to learn too much all this מדרשים and stories about the משיח. ולא יעריך במדרשות האמורים בעניינים אלו. ולא ישימי מכר, this is not the most, most important thing of our Torah. שאינם מביאים לא לידי יראה ולא לידי אהבה. He doesn't bring not come close to Hashem and not to love Hashem. וכן לא יחשב הקיצים and don't start to calculate when the Mashiach is going to come. Chachamim says, and they give a curse to all of us, to those who say Mashiach will come in six months, in one year, because nobody knows. It was a very important rabbi, he came, and he gave a speech, and I get phone calls afterwards from my people. Rabbi, he said that six months the Mashiach will come. He talks about this. Uh, can we have to, should we sell the houses? Should we this? Should we? They were really panicking. I told them, the Rambam says not to worry. So I spoke to the Rabbi. He say, you have to push them. You say, they live in America. They live so comfortably. If you don't... Uh, if they don't wake them up, it doesn't work. I told him, I'm sorry, but it's not what the Torah talks about. It's not. But it happens, you know, every few months I have another, uh, I'm, I'm calling it news from heaven. Another rabbi stood up and he said he got a message from email from Hashem that Mashiach will come in. Uh... Ah, I got an email last month, the 2012. I, uh, I, somebody sent me, no, the last time, 2012. I told him, talk to you, 2015, but I <laughs> First of all, he say two years, he takes some, why, why, why not tomorrow? Where is the, uh, but he made calculation. The Rambam says, Tifach Rucha mean, he wish him, la Lenu, to die, those who make these calculations. Don't waste your time. Then the Rambam explains what will happen when the Mashiach will come. All the Jews are going to gather to the state, to the land of Israel, and are going to listen to him. And he's going to say to every person, you are from Shevet Yehuda, you are from Zvulun. You are from Menashe, you are from Ephraim. He's going to give everybody where he's where is coming from. Huh? Yes. 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 This is Mamzer, this is not Mamzer, this is Halal, no. Doesn't know, he doesn't come to talk about Sulim, he just come to say which tribe they belong. Because Mishpacha Shenitmiya, Nitmiya. And the Rambam finishes and say, why Chachamim wanted to live in the time of the Mashiach? Not to control the entire world, not to be above the Gentiles, but not to be controlling issues, and not to eat and not to drink, because they just want one thing. They want to be available to learn Torah 
and to keep mitzvot, and nobody is going to prevent them from this. כדי שיזכו לחיי העולם הבא, כמו שביארנו בהלכות תשובה. יסר. No, there is um, before the time of the Mashiach is going to be time which is called Hevlei Mashiach. This time of hardship. But the Mashiach when it comes, it's, it's good. See what the Rambam says. In this time there won't be no hunger, no wars, no hatred, no ego problems. And there will be so much good in the world, and all the food and the ground, all whatever you want is like, will be like, like ashes, like, like accessible. People will not argue about it, just one thing. They want just to learn Torah, they want to come close to Hashem. Therefore, therefore, we want to this. Now, this I told you over here is talking about worldwide changes. But let's say you come to a certain point in your life that you have this ability to learn Torah, to do mitzvot, without all this hardship. So do it. And the Nikra, the Nikra, the Nikra, Geula Pratit. Once my rabbi he said that he came to the yeshiva, he told to the student of the yeshiva, you don't have to pray for the Moshe because the Moshe came already. What are you doing? You're learning all day. You get your food. You have a place to sleep. You have nothing to worry about. So your Moshe came already. What will, when Mashiach will come, what will happen? So you get maybe another Hugo to Levin, but this is a, but you are, you are there already. Why I'm telling this to you? We just finished Chag Shavuot. We just finished Sfirat HaOmer. And um, the first seven days of Sfirat HaOmer, six days, we ate matzot. We counted 49 days. And in Shavuot, what did we eat? Milk. Huh? Milk. No, milk we eat over here, in Beit HaMikdash. You know what we in Mikdash? <laughs> it was the only korban in Beit HaMikdash that was chametz. There were two chalot in Beit HaMikdash, chametz. And the Zohar Kadosh is asking, you start with matzah and finish with chametz? So what did you do? You waited, 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 and now you eat chametz? And they explained that basically Hashem wants us to eat chametz, but to feel that we are matzah. <laughs> to, eat cham, to eat matzah is wonderful for seven days. But the real life is to eat chametz and feel, still feel close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The only way to do it is with, just with Torah, because without Torah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Therefore, now we know it's a beautiful time, now it's the summer, and the day are very long, and there is enough time to learn. You can come, you can pray Mincha, 8 o'clock, learn 9, and you can learn, and you can learn, and you can learn. And uh, this, is your, this is our Mashiach. So why to pray for the Mashiach if you can, if you can have the Mashiach today? today? Yes. How does stand up for us? For example, give us a message and feel like peace. What? How it applies? Can you give us an example in our real life? Let's say, let's say you are a limo driver, okay? And you're driving all day, taking a person from here to there. And you tell to yourself, where am I going to be close to Hashem? By be on time. By be kind to the, to the customer, by to be honest with them, you are making yourself by eating chametz a matzah.
they uh, there was a there was a very big very big tzaddik. His name was, his name was Chanoch. That he died in a very young age, 300 years old, Miske. and uh, and he went to heaven. So the midrash says, well, who was Chanoch? The Chanoch was a shoemaker. Saposhnik was there. So how Saposhnik would go to Gan Eden so quickly? So they say whenever he used to make uh, the shoes, he used to say, "God bless that the one who wears it, the one who is." Uh, is going to go just to Beta Knesset. We'll not go to this. We'll not go to Atlantic City. We'll not go to Las Vegas. We'll go to this Beit Midrash. We'll go to this Shur with Lafayomi. And it should be a desk to go to Mitzvot. A yeah, shoemaker. But this shoemaker, he went straight to heaven. You tell me, but he didn't learn the whole day. No. He's, uh, he's doing his living. This is what we I, I, I try, we try to tell you. This is what really the Torah is asking from us all the time. When you are in, when you, we're living among, and we have a lot of neighbors. Be kind to our neighbors. Say hello to them. When I came to my neighborhood, nobody said hello to nobody. And every day morning I'm going, especially on Shabbat, I said to everybody, good morning, how are you? Now they're waiting and I'm going to come. And they're talking, they say, good morning, Rabbi, how are you? And, the, uh, and uh, it took me 15 years, but they understood it. Uh, and these, the small things that can make you very close to Hashem. And this is what really the Mashiach is talking, talking about. They, the Rabbi, don't talk about big accountings and this, be nice. Let's say you are married and you're nice to your wife. You bring the Mashiach now. That's your wife, she's kind to her husband. But if you're going to be like Koshki Mishki all the time, Mashki, Mashiach, we need Mashgiach, not Mashiach. So to bring to bring Mashiach is not a concept of it's in the heaven or to fast. And I today I, I spoke to my children. The Gemara is a beautiful Gemara in Masechet Sot, in Masechet Sota. The Gemara says. That our Torah this week talks about two extreme people. What is the what, what is the first a person that decides to be Nazir? He wants to be holy. He doesn't want to drink wine. He doesn't want to uh, go to the cemeteries. He wants just to be him and Hashem. Take all restriction on himself. Tzaddik. And next to him, the Torah brings. A woman that she's married and her husband is suspecting a very ugly situation and very disgusting. And the Gemara is asking, the Torah is so big, why to bring those two individuals next to each other? Make, make you know, make two parashas differently. Lama nismecha parashat nazir le parashat sota? Omeret HaGemara, if you come and you see the sota, be careful because it can affect you. I, give, I can give you a different pshat. The Gemara says, Rabbi Elazar Kapar says that Nazir is a sinner too. Why is a sinner? He wants to be holy. Omeret HaGemara, nobody gave you permission not to drink wine. Drink wine, but control yourself. Ah, you want by, by making all kind of restriction, you want to be closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu? So you are going from the way. So she's going this way, he is going his way, but none of them extremes are good. One of the and none of them going in the right way. And the Gemara says, last week I was blessed to be in Shimon Sadiq grave in Yerushalayim. Shimon Sadiq was a Kohen Gadol. He was forty years Kohen Gadol. He never ate from Korbanot Nazir. He didn't believe in this. Until one he saw a boy and he ate from his Korban. For 40 years he ate once Korban Nazir. He doesn't, he doesn't accept this concept of torture yourself in order to come close to Hashem. It doesn't exist in our Judaism. And the other one is not good. She's going all the way wild. Therefore, now after we ate the Korban Chametz in Chag Shavuot, we have to start to feel that even in the Chamez, and even in our day-to-day, -day, and even with the phone calls and this, it's a whole 
Avodat Hashem. Somebody is calling your phone. You're not in the mood to answer. It's your mother-in-law. It's somebody you know that you, that you really like. Or it's your sister. Or something, you know, and you don't want to answer. And tell to yourself, Hashem, Hashem wants me to answer, I'm going to answer. That's what that me does. <coughs> Small things that make the big things. So, let's, let's conclude. The, uh, the, Ram, the, the Gemara brings about the, all the time about the Mashiach. And we see so many opinions. As the Rambam says, we really don't know. But one thing we know. We want the Mashiach to come every day, and we have, we have the Mashiach to, we have to let the Mashiach come. But be kind to each other, talk about, forget about Lashon Hara, and judging, and slander, and rechilut, and all this kind of nonsense, and try to live our life normally, peacefully. I was saying, Mukhar, Moshe Hashborom, his Mashiach came already. I would like to wish you all the best. Sorot tovot, shavuot, arbe nachat, baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen, amen. Rebichan, arbe nekashah, omer